Good day to y'all. Thank you for watching this video. I am back from where I was, which is not here. We will be doing something crazy today because I saw on my Instagram so-called ASCII art. Now, you probably won't know what it is, or maybe you will. But this is ASCII art. It's basically a picture uh, that is recreated with only characters. So, I really want to make some ASCII art today, but I am lazy as I am lazy. So, I decided to make a generator for it. We will be doing this in Python, as you'll be seeing right now. So, let's get into this. So, we first open up Atom. It's like a text editor. I prefer Atom over other things because it is clean and simple. There we go. So, for those of you who don't know, Python is a simple programming language. It's based on C, I believe. I don't actually know. So, please don't kill me if it's not true. And we can use it to program. So, we'll be doing this. Alright, what you see on the right here is my uh, terminal. It's the like, command thingy where you type your commands. On the left, you see Atom. We will be making a new file called ASCII-gen.py, right? This will be the generator. Yeah, what is our objective? First, we need some input image and I will find some, a real nice input image uh, real quick for you. All right, so we will make a new folder for this. I already made it. It's called ASCII generator and we are going to use this file, an empty file, ASCII-gen.py. We will need some images in here. So we got this picture here. This will be our picture to ASCII artify. It is a BMW and it's a nice one as well but we want it to be ASCII art hit and how we are gonna do that is as follows so let's take a look for example image editing Python and let's see what pops up so image manipulation that sounds good we need to do that so what do they use they use pillow okay so let's install pillow all right so we installed pillow for a bit and now we will be using it so how to start you may ask well that is a very good question i will start by importing the necessary things so so we will need image image draw and image font also we need math probably so let's just import it as well you may think uh how do you decide what character goes where an image as you may know has a color on every pixel so it's made out of pixels vertically and horizontally and every pixel has a value and we can get that value if i'm not mistaken how do you open an image it is like this image.open for example car.jpg and we will be opening this so there's this function to get the size because those are handy and then we can load it like this load so now we have loaded up the image and we can use it in pics we can literally find out what's going on so first let's print the width and height to see if that goes as i want it to go so how do we run this we go here and we basically said python ascii.py bam and he doesn't know where it's going because i'm in the wrong folder so there we go so we can see that python correctly gets the size of this image somewhere here as well yeah down here 1350 times 900 and it says 1350 times 900 so that is perfect now we should loop through the entire image and get a value for each pixel right let's do that then we will make a for loop so for i is a normal like a standard variable name in range height for j in range width because we need to loop through the rows but also through the columns and then we say r g and b value so red green and blue equals and there's this function for this and i looked it up you just set pics on the location so you literally can return it like this if i would now print them print r for example it's probably stupid because it's going to print it all so we get this massive list with our values. It's scrolling because there's many of them. So after this, we will have to figure out how to get a mean value out of this, right? I mean, a character, the density of the character is basically telling us how we will see it in the picture. We should get a density value out of this, basically. So we will convert it into a black and white image first. And we do that by summing them up and dividing by three. So what we do is we make a new value, h, and we say it will be the r value divided by three, plus the g value divided by three, plus the b value divided by three. And I make an integer out of it again. An integer is a round number because otherwise you cannot tell the computer to make it a certain color. The colors can only be integers. This now will be the corresponding gray value. You can get the gray value by summing and dividing. So take the mean basically. After this, we will be replacing the color at that location with a gray color. So pix j 
I. Now is h, h, h. I guess it's like this, the syntax. Uh, let's figure out how it looks like. We get gray values now on each image. So what happens if I now save this again? Wait, can I save this? You can say im.save, uh, let's say output dot, dot png, I don't know, something like this. We would now display it in black and white, I guess, I hope. All right, it didn't crash, that's something. Yeah, see? So we now get a black and white equivalent of our car. So before, after, All right? So that is easy as that. Now we need to assign this value into a character. So what we first need is a, like, a list of characters like in density. So I found this list online. We'll be using this, bam, let's go. And we basically say this list is like from most dense to least dense characters. So the space is in the very end. And dollar sign is in the beginning. I don't know why we put a hashtag there, but this was online, so we will use this for a bit. So what we basically can do now is open a new text file, and this will be our uh, destination for our art, basically. So we open a new output.txt file, and we basically say write to that the things we want. So in this for loop, we should add something. We should say text file because that's the name dot write, and then the character. So I think we should make a function get char and put the input there h so with a certain input you want a character as output so we need to make this function for a bit so we're gonna do that on top here def get char and as input we have a uh, integer so we will call it input integer i guess that's a good name then we have to uh, uh, return a character so how do we do that let's say th these are all the characters here right and our age can be from 0 to 255 so we need to divide this basically into 255 or 256 pieces and return the good one so we return something we need this chars as an array and we want a certain element out of it array to be returned right we say we put the input int and we multiply that by interval and interval then has to be a certain factor to scale it, right? How many characters is this long? I don't know, but we can count that, of course, by using char array first. Make a list out of the chars and then say char length equals the length of char array. So now we know how many characters there are. So for example, if I want to change this, I can just change it and don't have to care about recoding this down here. We also need this factor to scale it. I think that is char length divided by 256 because that's one yeah it doesn't make sense all right i had to think about this for a bit and i think it's correct now so what basically happening is you get your input integer for example 100 this is grayscale you multiply it by interval which basically says so 100 out of 265 times the length of this thing gives you a certain position in this thing however we need to floor that because of we need an integer and we do that with the math library so this way we would get a a character out of this system probably now we can use this down here to get a character and to write them to the text file if i'm not mistaken and i put another text file dot write new line right here see if this works so we have to write a new line to it in this way i believe no like this maybe i think like this we now get a new line after each row so let's see what this does so it gives us the dimension all right that's fine and now it's calculating i guess all right, so we now got this new file here. Oh, stuff's happening. I see some ASCII art. Zoom out. Whoa, this is slow. Whoa, this thing is huge. Whoa. All right, so, whoa. I guess that worked. It's super big though. It's like literally the biggest thing ever because for every pixel in the image, it now created a character, so you can never see that this is characters anymore. It looks weird though. It looks like it's the wrong way around as well. Hmm. I think we have to reverse this list, actually. We do this by this. I remember from back in the day. So we want to resize it first, I think. We uh, open the car, and resize, yeah, fine. Resize it just like this. Resize. I looked it up on the internet. Resize basically wants two numbers for the new size of the thing so i made a scale factor i forgot to write it down though uh, let's say 0.2 we scale them the width and the height we make an in of them again 
and this is just a necessary flag for this command resize so if we do it now let's say 0.1 right we actually failed because okay i did it wrong with these things all right so let's take a look what this did oh still looks huge why oh wait because we didn't we did it wrong this so let's get these two and put them here like this then whoa which was not oh yeah 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 okay, okay 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 that makes sense so i guess let's put them here index out of range hmm that's interesting why would the index go out of range suddenly that's weird okay because we do okay so we have to do this again afterwards to get the correct new height and width now yeah you see the output size will be like really small so now we can take a look at how it looks yeah oh <laughs> the um, yeah the contrast is not high enough and also it's because the characters of course are not square so it looks really weird we are going to deal with that first i am going to take a look how how big characters are so i'm just going to type cut it out with this nice program made by windows open paint you know paint paint sometimes is the thing you need to use put this here zoom in select all right so one character how large is it so i am looking how tall it should be i think something like, like this would fit right so 8 by 18 pixels let's make some variables here one char width equals 8 one char height equals 18 oh i don't have to do a semicolon it's a c thing now we have to scale the height by this factor so times 8 18 or one char width one char height I think the yeah so height now has changed as you can see here so what would the output text look like then oh that looks better the size of the input image and the size of the output text look somewhat alike only I cannot see sh in this image what's going on what happens if I create a simpler chars array we will be using uh, hashtag w o try the thing and a space so now it looks like shit again oh wait I forgot to this Huh, that's not too bad. You can see it's a car somehow. Maybe if I make it a little bit bigger, like a uh, 0.3. Let's see how this works out. Aye, right, this is not bad. You know what? This is actually not bad. Look at it. All right, so it now looks like this. And if I am entering the output.txt file, it actually looks like a BMW. How about that? This is nice. However, I think we should make a picture out of it. A PNG with characters on it actually, you know? So I will now be proceeding to do that. We need to create a new picture right here. It's gonna be named output image and it is gonna be created like this. Image.new, it is RGB, the width and the height and the color. So the background color, we just take black. The width and the height. So these are a bit weird because as you can imagine, characters are not square. So I think we should say the entire height should be one char width times the width and one char height times the height. This will then work. So let's see if this output image has the same resolution as the input image or at least the same size. Let's check it. Width, comma, height equals this. Right, right, right. And then say run and then print it so it fails nice so i will just call it like this then because otherwise it will overrule the height and the width for the for loop and then done so we should print it here and down there these width and height should have the same ratio as these width and height right so now you can see yes it works all right so the ratio is the same which means that the image in total will be the same size only with a different uh, scale so let's get rid of these shit again so we now have an output image it's just black right so how do we save an output image though we do that like this so we can get rid of this one i guess i mean makes sense oh it was for the grayscale yeah right so we don't need that anymore we're now gonna look at the output image and that is black so now we need to draw characters on them i have looked it up and we do it with image draw however we first want to set the font for the character so we do it with image font top here so the way we do this apparently is we just grab a font and the font of uh default for notepad is lucida console font is image font dot true type and then the path i quickly copied the path of that thing and then i decided to use 15 as a size now i have to draw on the output image and we do it like this we say we make an output image uh, we did it down there 
I can now add to the loop my drawing action, which is D dot text, the position and the character. And that is the same as before, get character depending on the color, font and a fill. I think, you know what would be nice? To also use the colors of that exact pixel as fill. I will just use RGB then. What is the position? Position should be J of one char width and I times one char height, right? If I run this stuff. We now got an output image and I guess, look what's happened, dear people watching. A BMW in characters. This actually is quite nice, isn't it? Look at this. So uh, now I only used four characters. What happens then if I use all of these again? So this is it. Look at this. I can zoom in and you can see it's just characters. Poof. Awesome, awesome. Oh, I just saw my camera didn't record anymore. However, we made it. We actually did it. It's pretty amazing actually. I, I did not think uh, we were going to make it this quick. I'll show you what I did. This is the program. It's pretty small. It's only 43 uh, lines or something and it works. So how do we use it? We can just say ASCIIGen.py and it will do it for us. So there are some factors we can play with. For example, skill factor. So we, for example, can try to do this. <laughs> so this is the car, the most cryptic shape of a car. I mean, it looks cool, I guess. I would really like like a poster of this on my room, you know? It's really big, uh, then uh, with a better quality, of course, and then just hang it on your wall and no one knows what it is except for you. All right, let's do some other things. So we can change the char width, which would be the spacing in between characters. They're quite close to each other, right? I mean, it doesn't look like this in, in a notepad, so I probably need to make a 10 and then wait for a bit. That actually looks way better. So now it looks normal, like the characters are not cramped up against each other. Nice, it looks super cool actually. I'm very happy with the result. I was thinking guys, this is cool, but what if we would take a MP4 and actually use the entire MP4 and every frame convert like this and then play it. We could like watch everything, but then ASCII, it would be amazing, right? Right now I got a good one for you guys. Ready? You recognize what this is? It will be clear what it is if I make it bigger. Probably if you have suggestions on how to do this more clean, like in a quicker way, please tell me because I'm really wondering how to improve the performance of this thing. Damn, bruh. Just look at it. I would say that's some good ASCII art. You know, in this one, you would think you need another uh, background color. However, if I do that, for example, white, it doesn't look good at all. Here, look at this. Like, yeah, what's this? Uh, you know. But you know, you, we should try something else. We should try my logo. Look, it looks like this, right? Like this. And it's really small. So we definitely put it back into the other configuration, the black one. Oh, this is cool. Actually looks quite a lot like my logo already. Make the scale factor a little bit better, like 0.3. It actually looks awesome, right? I think it's too big though. Let's try 0.2. And there we go. Look at this. Perfection. I think I'm gonna post a image on my Instagram as well. All right, guys, thank you for watching. We did it. We made a ASCII art generator. It is awesome. Also, if you've got any ideas to do, please put them in the comments below. I've got some great ideas already. Actually, I'm not going to tell you. Uh, follow me on my Instagram and you will see it. Like, I will post some stories there with ideas that are in my mind that I will be doing here. And I will, uh, yeah, just do it. Thank you guys for watching and see you in the next one. Bye.